Hello and welcome to Checking It Out with Rich. Um, as you can see, we have a big box on the island. Uh, let me give you a little backstory on this. Uh, we went to Alliance last Friday to pick up our camper. And before we did that, we went for a tour of the Paradigm plant with April. And we, when we got back to the office building, we walked into the lobby and there's a group of people. Uh, the Bradys were there, Ab was there, there was uh, a couple other people. And they had a move there in the middle of the... Uh, lobby it looked kind of weird but uh we're listening to them talk and this and that and becky's been wanting a four burner stove and i've been having a hard time finding one uh just because of the height and all that so anyway i heard the guy say it's an inch shorter so when they got all done talking and walking away i stopped the guy turned out his name was bill I stopped him. I said, I heard you say that you have one that's an inch shorter. I said, what's your overall height? So in talking to him, he says that uh, if we want the stove, he'll have it for us that day. And I said, after making two trips to Alliance this month, there's no way I could afford to buy the stove. And he said, you're not going to buy it. I'm going to give it to you. So we're like kind of static. So anyway... Talked to him a little bit more, uh, took some pictures of this, sent it to him. He's saying, yeah, it'll work. Now, we'll have to change the uh, cabinetry. And um, so we went and picked the camper up. We're leaving, and we're stopping by their warehouse to pick up the stove. And he had this convention, convection microwave. I said it, convention microwave, the first time we took this. It's a convection microwave. So he had them both sitting there. So this we shoved in on the back seat and then we have the stove i'll show you a picture of the stove uh it's going to be a little while i gotta get the cabinets made up and uh get everything tore out but i want to have everything here the cabinets and everything here before i tear it out and put it in just in case we decide to go camping so anyway um the name of the company is Contour, and they were very nice. Uh, Becky was, I was surprised. Becky was ecstatic. She's getting her four burner stove. Uh, it might take me a month or so here to get it in, but uh, it's, it's, it's a pretty nice stove. So anyway, let's get back to the task at hand. So I'm going to get this out of the way, and then we'll commence the tearing this one out. Okay, so first thing we want to do is take off the magnets. Hopefully the new one is, uh, the magnets will stick to it. Get rid of this towel. And then we got to clean everything out from up here. And that's it. Okay, the last thing up here is her, uh, no slip them, do you call it? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take you up and show you what's uh, securing the microwave in. Okay, let's see if we can see this. Yeah, right here. There's a bolt here that goes down into the uh, microwave. And uh, there's one here. So next we're going to unplug the uh, microwave. Okay, let's pull this cord back. Okay, cord is out. Okay, so what, what we're going to do is we're going to take these two screws out, but while we're doing that, we have to hold this up. The other thing securing it is there is a bracket going across the back that the back of the uh, microwave sets in. So let's uh, get set up and uh, we'll get this out without damaging the countertop. Okay, we're going to put a... Uh, Moving blanket down here just to protect it a little bit. I know the stove is coming out, but we don't want to damage it now. Okay, Becky's got the drill. I'm going to hold the, uh, this could be dangerous. I'm going to hold the microwave up while she takes the two screws out. Ready? Yep. Okay. It doesn't fit. What? Okay. Fit. All right. 
minor problem. Okay, she'll fit now. Take two. Whoa. You want me to start them? Yeah. <laughs> I had it on uh, righty tighty, not lefty loosey. <laughs> okay, that's one. That's two. Okay. okay. Go ahead. All out. All out. Okay, get down. Now we're going to have to let it go forward a little bit and lift up in the back. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I can't. Let it go down a little bit more. Let, let it down. Okay, there we go. Straight down. Straight down. Okay. That wasn't that bad. No. And you never say, I can't. All right, let me show you what we uh, have here. Okay, this is a, uh, like I said, this thing is noisy. The reason it's noisy is because the exhaust fan. Now here's your exhaust fan. It's pretty much just blowing it up into here. Well, that's all loose. But uh, this can come out and you can put a vent in here. That might, that might be a future project with the other one. Um, the other one has both options also. You can either vent internally or externally. And then Alliance put this uh, one by in here because this back wall, if you look at your slide, your back wall is um, angled out from top to bottom. So they put in this in here to level the uh, microwave. Okay, let's get this out of the way and uh, get the other one in. Okay, uh, of course the uh, brackets don't match and this one is a little bit longer. You need to get the screws in here. So I'm going to take this off and put a longer uh, 1x4 in. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to find center here. It's 30 inches wide. We're going to find center. Come, come down, I think it was 16 inches. I'll have to look at the book. But come down 16 inches to here and mount that. So I'm going to go ahead and get this off. Get another 4x4 four four mounted up there, and uh, should be good. All right, let me give a little uh, update on my progress. Uh, none of the holes match here, so the uh, bracket that goes on a wall needs uh, repositioned. And the, let me bring in here, the existing holes from the old microwave didn't match up. But this piece of paling was loose. I went out to get my stapler to staple it back up, so I figured I'll take it down. Uh, this board here, see if you can see that, yeah. This board here is what um, your screws are supposed to go through, but uh, they, they just missed it. It's no big deal. There's a big fender washer on top, so it was still on here. So this is just stapled in, but I went and made a couple pocket holes, one on each side put a screw in just to hold that in a little bit better. And then when I took down the paneling, um, there's a template template you're supposed to put up there to mark your holes. I found it easier to lay the uh, paneling down and then put the template on top of it. So that's where I'm at now. So as you see here, I have the board, I have the template. I just need to mark the uh, holes. This will be where your uh, cord comes through. So I'm going to do that now, then get this uh, paneling back up there, then get the back bracket on. Okay, I got the holes marked, and what I did was I turned this around the other way. Um, the holes were pretty close to the existing holes, so I'm turning around the other way, and I just took duct, duct tape, Gorilla tape, and put over these holes just so no uh, dust comes down. So we're just going to put this up into place. And staple it in. All 
Okay, so next I'm going to drill these, these holes out, and then uh, we'll put the uh, back bracket on. Okay, as you can see, I have the uh, template up here. Uh, you pretty much want to put the bottom of your bracket down here. But since we need to add a spacer in here, and I had to run the lows. I don't think I ever do a job that I don't at least go to the blue store once. So hopefully this is the only trip. So we want to put this in here. Line it up with the bottom. And then... Right there. And then I'm going to find a bit. And I'm going to run some screws in now just to uh, initially mark it. And then... These screws are only going into the Asdell. So what I did was I put some pocket holes on the side here. You see them back? I put some pocket holes. Now being how close this is to the bottom, I may only put one, but that'll help hold it to the wall a little bit better instead of just going into the Asdell. Um, if you've ever put a screw in there, they, don't, they really don't stay too well. Okay, I'm going to take these back out. I'm trying to hit the holes now. Thank you, Rebecca. See, that's why I married her. I think I might have to go with a little, little longer screw here. That's that one. That's that one. We should be good. That's good. That's good. Oh, hang on. We got to do the uh, pocket holes first before we put the bracket up. Yeah, I think those bottom uh, pocket holes are going to be too... Uh, too close. All right, now let's take this out. Put the bracket in. Okay, it pulled in good. I actually bent the uh, mounting bracket a little bit. Level. It is. It is. There's more boards down there than there is right here. Oh, I see that. What the hell? Oh, uh, I, I know what it is. Hang on. That's why my holes weren't lining up. There we go. Let's try this again. Okay, put these back in. Okay. Oh, 
actually surprised how well these uh, screws are holding. Okay, that's all in. I probably should have painted this. There'll be a little bit of a gap here, not much, but I don't think you'll notice it. So, all right, so we are ready to get the microwave up here. So we'll get all this cleaned up and then we'll come back for the, uh, us screaming at one another, trying to get the microwave in. Okay, they call for a two inch hole up here to stick your cord through. I think it's a little excessive. I think an inch and a half would have been good. But uh, it didn't come with a garment. I looked, I didn't see one. So normally I would make trip two to the blue store and get one, but I'm not gonna do that. I'll pick one up later, split it or unplug it and shove it in there. So it's no big deal. It's something I could do for um, something I could do later. Another thing I did just to make sure is I ran all the screws in here to make sure the threads are okay so we're not having any difficulties up above. Okay, so we are ready for the cursing to begin. So if there's a lot of bleeps in here, yeah, okay. All right, just don't so holler at me. Let's get, I never holler at you. So let's get this up here. You always have to have a backup coffee pot in case your electric one breaks or you lose power. Okay, you ready? Okay, we got to get in these notches. There's four of them. So we're going to do the same thing as before. We're going to take it up on an angle, set the back, and then push it up and then put the bolts in. Okay, you ready? Get your step stool ready. All right, you ready? I think so. I have the heavy end. Oh. So hang on. Okay, I, I, I'm in. Are you in? Just reach her. <laughs> she doesn't know. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. Just we need to get this cord now. Okay. Am I in? I believe you are in. So let's see if we can find uh, the hole here. Just want to make sure this will go in. You got this up? Yeah. Okay. Let it go for a second. Uh, okay. Here we get these ones in. Oh. Yeah, I think that one's in. We should, start, we should have started with this one. Okay. And last one's up here. Oh, that's no good. Uh -oh. oh, shit. Okay, we had a, ma a major setback. When I was trying to get the third bolt in, this clip, you want to bring that in? This pushed down inside. And it took a while. It's, this is a quarter by 28 thread, so it's not very common. I did go back to the blue store. And I forgot the two-inch garment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't have any uh, quarter by 28 thread, all thread, or anything long enough. I just need like an extra half inch that I can go ahead and grab it and then pull it up and it would pull it into place. But we ended up taking that side panel back a little bit and we was able to get in there, get it, and put it back into place. Now what I did was, these called for three-eighths. I drilled these out to a half inch. So we shouldn't have any problem now. So we're going to go ahead and get it back up, get the screws in, plug it in, try it. We should have, maybe we should do that now, <laughs> <laughs> the, way, the way this day is going. But uh, we're going to try it and then get this mess. You want to do a quick 360 of our mess we have here? And there's Rebecca's new stove.
All right, so let's get this done. I'm ready for a beer. Okay, here we go. Uh, I said I'm ready for a beer. I don't start drinking until the work's done. So let's hurry up and get done. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay. So bring it up. I'm in. I don't know if I'm in. I don't think you are. It seems like it's out. Ooh. Here, just hold that there. Let me look. Okay. Let's get this up here. And then the bolts. Don't push the doofle key in again. You got it? Yes. All right. Let me grab the step stall. Heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, it's at a weird angle. Okay, you ready? To do what? To tighten her down. Yes. And three. Yay! And we're done. <laughs> yeah, I may tighten them up by hand just a little bit. I don't want to. I don't want to crank it down with the uh, drill. I may just tighten it down by hand just a little bit. Get a little extra tug on it. She looks good. You can get everything cleaned out. Yeah, it should be online. That, that's right. Okay. I figured you'd be empty and out, get that ready. Well, that's a good sign. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and I'm going to, uh, after I get the, the garment in here, I'm going to secure this uh, wire a little bit better. I probably should have thought and routed it a little differently so it came up closer to the hole between here but it's good okay another semi-easy job <laughs> <laughs> becky's happy and we want to thank uh contour appliances uh thanks bill uh we will send you a picture of this installed once we get all the labels off of it and uh when the video is done i'll shoot you an email when the video is done all right so once again Thanks for checking it all out. We'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.